Hey guys, this is Gerald over at Art Cyclery. Everyone knows that getting a flat tire is a surefire way to ruin your ride and your mood. So I want to show you a better way to inflate your tire using CO2. Why should you use CO2? It's faster. You can inflate a road tire to 110 PSI in a matter of seconds. It takes less effort. You don't have to break a sweat using a pump when you're already bummed that you have a flat. It's lighter and saves space compared to most hand pumps. The most basic inflators simply screw onto a threaded CO2 cartridge and have no moving parts. First, screw the CO2 cartridge tight into the inflator to puncture the seal. You can then unscrew the cartridge slightly to start the flow of CO2 or screw it all the way tight again to stop the flow completely. By screwing and unscrewing the CO2 cartridge in short bursts, you can control how much CO2 flows into your tire. A slightly easier type of inflator to use is one with a built-in trigger mechanism but still uses threaded CO2 cartridges. Screw the CO2 cartridge tight into the inflator to puncture the seal. You then use the trigger mechanism to control how much CO2 flows into your tire. The final type of inflator uses unthreaded CO2 cartridges and a trigger mechanism. Place the CO2 cartridge into the inflator body with the seal pointed up. Then screw the inflator body tight onto the inflator nozzle until the seal of the CO2 cartridge is punctured. You can then use the trigger to control the flow. Once you have determined how your inflator operates, place the inflator on your valve and inflate your tube by either unscrewing the cartridge slightly or activating the trigger. Inflate slowly with short bursts with one hand on the tire to monitor the tire pressure. If using a 16 gram cartridge, be careful not to exceed your tire's pressure limits. Once you have your tire inflated to the appropriate PSI, just remount your wheel and you're ready to ride in five minutes or less.